Obviously, all three of us wanted to become footballers. That was our dream. We played every day together. My brothers had to sacrifice everything. I think maybe they realised at a young age that it was more realistic for me and not for them. And maybe mum and dad did too, I think. At the time you don't see it and you don't realise, but a lot of the time they weren't able to play their matches on a Sunday because I had to be at the academy and playing my game. And mum couldn't take both. Now you look back on it and you think it was unbelievable for such young people to sacrifice their dream for mine at a young age and being able to see the vision so clearly and wanting for me to be successful and to see my dream come true above theirs is an incredible sacrifice. It's unfair to ask anyone to do, but they did it willingly. Whenever they need maybe anything I can help with, then it's done in an instant because I know what they sacrificed for me in the past. I've always been serious about my ambitions and motivations were never far away. I grew up with my mum and dad and my two brothers, Tyler and Marcel, in a three-bedroom house right by Melwood, the club's training complex. Back then, my brothers and I could get on each other's nerves a bit, but we always had one thing in common, Liverpool Football Club. And my brothers and I were right there, so close to our heroes on a daily basis standing on bins or peeping through the fencing to try and get a glimpse of them training before pretending to be them in our own kickabouts. To be honest, we didn't have any other hobbies. That's probably bad to say, but it's true. We were obsessed 24-7. My mum had this rule that we could go play wherever we wanted, as long as she could still see us, literally with her own eyes. So the options were the front garden or the park across the way but sometimes she'd lose sight of us because we'd be tearing around the back of the house with a ball made out of tin foil or rolled up socks. We used to drive her mad. Then, in April 2005, my mum got me and my older brother Tyler tickets to a Champions League quarter-final match. First leg, Juventus. Buffon, Cannavaro, Nedved, Ibra. Pretty incredible side. European nights at Anfield are just different. To really be there in the main stand, it's unreal. You just try to take it all in. You just hope you remember everything in the morning. Then the cops started to sing, you'll never walk alone. And the power of that. Literally, I just fell in love with it. All of it. I knew what I wanted to do with my life. A few months later, the Reds were champions of Europe again. I watched the final with my family. Even being six years old, I knew what that night in Istanbul meant. The funny thing was that we didn't even have to break our mum's rule to see it. The Liverpool bus came right down our street. We stood on the front porch with our Liverpool kits on, watching our heroes ride by with the European Cup dangling off the side of the bus. I nearly could have touched it. You couldn't experience a day like that and not want to be a footballer. It's the same for my brothers, and that's something that is really important to my story that people don't always talk about. We all had the same dream.